Now, this is a follow-up testimonial. Uh, we talked about, uh, we have a testimonial just the day after the surgery in the hospital. Right. And the surgery was when again? 25th of June. What were your symptoms before the surgery? I had uh, chronic back pain and mm -hmm. I, had, I had had uh, pain down my left leg, mm -hmm. down to my foot for almost six months. One to ten, how bad was that pain? It was probably seven or eight. Seven or eight, and you know, then we noticed that you have a two-level disc disease and problem with the material of the disc pushing on the nerve. Right. And uh, you know, uh, f first of all, um, you told me that uh, uh, your pain in the back and the leg is uh, gone or better. Correct. Tell me about it. Um, when I woke up after surgery that I that afternoon, um, I knew right away I didn't have any more back pain. Yeah. My back pain was gone. My leg pain was gone. And you and used the word for that, like a, you would use it the was, word. It was like somebody just turned the switch. My <laughs> pain switch got turned off, and I was just yeah. like, it was amazing. And yeah. from then on, the whole thing has been far less of a problem than I expected. Yeah. Because you think back surgery is a big deal, and you yeah. know, and uh, that that afternoon, I think it was two and a half hours after surgery, they got me up, and I stood up, no pain. We walked down the end of the hall and back, mm -hmm. and I felt great. Now, as well, you told me that uh, you were doing physical therapy in the hospital mm -hmm. and, uh, the, and they wanted you to do some stairs. Right, they wanted me Tell to me do the steps on Friday before mm -hmm. discharge. I had to go through and mm -hmm. show that I could go up and down stairs and whatnot. And so we went to, back to the room and again, I, I didn't really want to take the walker, but she was more comfortable. <laughs> I took it. So yeah. um, we walked to the end of the, their room and... They have their little four-step apparatus and mm -hmm. went up and down about four times and said, are we done? Okay. She just looked at me and I said, I guess you don't need any more. Okay, so, so you stayed only one night in the hospital. Yes. Many times actually I do this surgery in the surgery center, but you know, um, uh, but you were discharged the next day. And uh, since then, how is your daily activity? Everything's been fine. I've just been careful not just to try to watch out for things, and mm -hmm. I don't. I haven't noticed that I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if I feel sore, which that's mm -hmm. normal, but I just put ice on and it feels good, and sleeping's better. Um, so the previous pain and you then had, I, I is... went back to work in two weeks. In two weeks, yeah. and the previous pain you had is gone. Yes, sir. Okay. Completely. You, excellent. Now you told me as again that. You saw your chiropractor. Tell me about the details. I ran into him at yeah. church yesterday, and uh, he had taken care of me mm -hmm. before I went to yeah. physical therapy and then mm -hmm. eventually here. And uh, he remembered that I was going to have surgery, and mm -hmm. we talked about it and yesterday at church. And he just, how are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, great. Mm -hmm. I had my surgery. Oh, you did? When did you do that? And two and a half weeks ago. And he says, really? And uh, he was really shocked that I was... I was in church. I didn't have the brace on. I didn't wear it yesterday. And mm -hmm. that was another measure for me is when I was in church, when we stand in church for any length of time, I had to sit down because my yeah. leg would always hurt. Yeah. I stood yesterday the whole time and didn't hurt at all. And, uh, you know, the, and how long have you been, uh, uh, how long did you need to take those narcotic pain medications? I've, uh, from the time I got home, maybe a week. Maybe. And it was mostly, it. Mm -hmm. I would take it in the evening before I would go to bed. Yeah. And then uh, for the first three days, maybe, I just stayed ahead of it. And then I, did, I quit. And now mm -hmm. I get up in the morning and take my normal medications. Excellent. And I just take two Tylenol and I'm fine. Now I'm just going to turn around. We did a two-level fusion, yep. six screws uh, and two spacers here. And here we see that they are in perfect position. They're going through the pedicle exactly. You see, the screw is barely bigger than the pedicle, but they are, with our technique, this is exactly perfectly positioned. And the hole where the nerves are coming out here, they are wide open. And we did it all by just restoring the height of the disc. And mm -hmm. this is your surgical data. We did that surgery in 44 minutes with a blood loss of 86, and you obviously stayed on the hospital just one night. And, uh, and this is, at every category we look at, one-tenth of the blood loss, or even sometimes one-twentieth of the blood loss, mm -hmm. significantly shorter hospital stay. You went just two weeks after surgery back to work. Right. You just one week of narcotic use, and you're back to your basic life, mm -hmm. and the leg pain, radiculopathy is gone, gone meaning, that, gone. meaning that the decompression of that really right. helped 
by restoring your uh, practically your anatomy. Mm -hmm. I was concerned before. Yeah. I, I had emailed you because my pain started over my SI joint, mm -hmm. and I was concerned about that. Was yeah, when, and it's gone. Everything's gone. And but you had a fight to get it approved by your insurance company. I got it approved by the insurance company uh, to be processed as out of network mm -hmm. because. Uh, they thought the procedure was too new. I felt like it was worth to do it, even if it was mm -hmm. out of network. And uh, it's it's worth any amount of money I'd have to pay to get yeah. this relief. But but you know that that I think the idea here is that you know we go to insurance companies, we show them our data, and it, uh, unfortunately sometimes uh, not only insurance companies, but you know as well the system is not patient oriented. It is uh, based on, you know, not truly on the evidence because we have enough ed evidence. Mm -hmm. Your result, um, I hate to say that, it's nothing unique. We right. produce this result over and over and over and over again, mm -hmm. and yet the uh, system is very slow to adapt that. Well, and you had to fight for the it. Before the surgery, I reviewed a lot of the testimonials mm -hmm. on your webpage and stuff, like you suggested. Mm -hmm. and, um, I was uh, not skeptical, but I was. Um, for me, I've had back problems on mm -hmm. for a long time, and it's, boy, I wish I could make it go away, and now I was hopeful, mm -hmm. but it's more than I could hope for. It's yeah, great. and you've got a stack of my cards, because <laughs> now you're a believer. Yeah, right, right. Excellent. Well, so, thank you so much for your interview. You. I appreciate that.